This video is a walkthrough on how to create an assignment at SightReadingFactory.com. In order to create an assignment, you must first have a class set up. If you are unsure how to set up a class, please watch our video on how to organize students into classes. First, be sure you are logged in and on the dashboard. Then you will need to select the class for what you want to create the assignment. I'm going to create an assignment for my concert band class. This is the main page for this class. On this page, you'll see any assignments you may have already created. You can also view the students that are enrolled in this class, as well as the student practice logs. So to create a new assignment, you click New by the Assignments header. First, you'll need to give a title for the assignment. Next, you'll give instructions that your students will use to configure the settings for the music that will be generated for the assignment. You do have the option to configure the music for them, as I'll demonstrate in a moment, so your instructions can be as simple as select your instrument and click Start Assignment, or you can let them configure the music and leave instructions such as select your instrument, level 2, 4-4, four, four, and any key signature. Next, you'll select the maximum number of attempts that the student will be allowed to attempt the assignment. If you'd like the student to have unlimited attempts, you can keep this box checked. To limit the number of attempts, you can uncheck the box and enter the max number of attempts. Keep in mind that no matter how many times a student is allowed to an attempt an assignment, each attempt they will have brand new music generated for them, so they will not be attempting the same exercise over and over again. Each attempt will still truly be sight reading. If you'd like a completion notification emailed to you each time a student completes an assignment, you can check this box. Next, you'll select the date and time that the assignment is due. Any assignments that are submitted after the due date and time have passed are clearly marked as having been submitted late. You can optionally set a release date for an assignment. If you don't change the setting, this assignment will be released immediately. If you'd like for the assignment to be released at some point in the future, you can set that here. Next, you have the option to pre-configure the level, key signature, and time signature for your students. With pre-configured settings, your students will not have to configure, or be able to change, those settings which you set up for them. You can set all three choices, or you can set none, or you can set one or two and let the student choose the others. Keep in mind that the key signature that you select will be in concert pitch. So for example, if you configure level three, and 4-4 four, four time signature, when the student launches the assignment, they will have to select their instrument or voice type and a key signature. They will not have to select a level or time signature because you have already set it for them. For this assignment, I'm going to select everything for them. Next, you can select the number of measures that the sight reading exercise will be. I'll leave it at eight measures. Next, you will set the tempo at which the student will have to play their sight reading assignment. Next, you can set the length of the countdown timer. When the student launches their assignment and the music is generated, they will be presented with a countdown timer that will let them know how long they have to look over the music before the click-off signals them to play while we start recording them. Next, you will select whether or not you want a metronome track to accompany your students while they are performing the sight reading assignment. You can choose no metronome or a metronome with a subdivided B, or a metronome with the beat not subdivided. Next, you can choose whether or not to enable the disappearing measures feature, which will make each measure disappear after it has been played. This encourages the student to keep going and not look back. Next, you can choose whether or not to enable the note cursor feature, which helps the student keep their place by displaying a cursor that jumps from note to note as it should be played. You can select none, moves on each note, or moves on each beat. You can choose if you'd like to display the measure numbers above the staff. You also have the option to display any annotations that we offer, such as pitch name, solfage, scale degrees, or piano fingerings. Finally, if your students will be doing a sight reading assignment in a minor key signature, you can specify which type of minor scale the sight reading exercise should be composed using. Once everything is set up as you like, click Save to create the assignment. If you need to make any changes to your assignment, you can do so at any time by selecting the assignment and clicking Edit. 
You can also click Try It to launch the assignment and try it from a student's point of view. Thank you for watching this video on how to create an assignment at sightreadingfactory.com.